it's just a great experience. What's it say about you guys, both individually and collectively, that you survived all these bumps and where we are? I mean, really, it, this has been really nothing individually as a team. Though it's just, it's just. It, it, once again, it's just crazy. Like we, we, we came, we, we still came so much just being together and staying with each other, having, still having the same mindset now, and back then as well. It's just crazy how, how everything came together. What's been the recipe of success for you guys? Um, just, just focusing on ourselves, listening to the coaches, and not really, not really paying attention to like distractions and things out there. And all, just every day coming closer together. When you're up there cutting down nets. For those people who never got to do that, what was that like? What does it say about this in the end? Man, one, I never got to do that before. <laughs> I mean, really? coming through high school, and no, I never had anything, won anything as a team, really, just a lot of individual awards. And I mean, it's so much better to have stuff that stuff as a team. I mean, that feeling up there is like like one of no other. Like, it's just a great feeling. Going into this tournament now, you're at the top seed. Just talking about your your three games, three wins away from probably being as high as a two seed in the NCAA tournament. Some thoughts about going to Indianapolis? Um, I mean, they're all great teams. Big Ten's a great conference, you know. Um, going in, going into Indy, we are always not not about to look past anybody. We've done that before, and we see them where it got us, and we just gonna go in together. When coach talks about needing to get better this week at a couple of things, do you know what those things are? Not yet, but we're going to find out soon. <laughs> <laughs> we're you played out, pretty well tonight. We're going to find out really soon. Hmm. Hmm. Probably going to keep the nine in your hat. So what? Probably going to keep the nine in your hat. Uh, probably all day. <laughs> Go out to you and my family. Going to keep it in there still. <laughs> I guess how, how cool was that moment before the game when you got the ball from Tom Green? Um, I mean, it was really cool, you know. I mean, I did it in high school. Um, just seeing how far I came in college and how... Uh, how greatly he's made uh, made me as a person on the court and off the court, a man on the, on and off the court. It's just amazing. This team had a personality. What kind of personality does it have? What, what makes this team tick? There's a lot of personalities. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, uh, Are you guys a reflection of your coach? I mean, a lot of yeah, pretty like much. That, that's really? that's the perfect way to put it. And what's his personality like? It can be up. It can be down. <laughs> For what? Most of the time, it's more. It's more. Uh, like pushing towards greatness, seeing, uh, seeing he always sees more more than us than what we see in each other. Coach said that you guys need to, to work on some things, and but what is it that you feel like that you guys could work on or can improve on as you go into Indianapolis? Uh, I mean, it's a lot of things we can improve on, but I mean, as for now, we're gonna go back over the film and watch uh, watch this last game and uh, go over it as a team with the coaches and all to see what we all get better at. Good. Thank you. Very good. A lot about how Yogi improves every single day, every single game. How have you seen him improve in your time? Man, uh, I didn't know his freshman year, of course, but when I came in as a freshman, he was a sophomore. I can definitely see it. Um, this is the thing, the extra thing now that he does off the court. It's just not even like physical, but also mentally, it's just amazing, and and it shows. Like he became a great person, a great leader. Is that, I guess, like the film? What, what is it you talk about stuff he does off the court now? Like a whole bunch of, uh, I mean, he's been watching film. We watch so much now, though. We watch film in the hotels, uh, on the weight games. We do extra things. We do, I mean, ice tub and the more now. You raised your hand when he said, I fought with some of my teammates. You, you, you my volunteered first, that. My first year here, we actually, we actually went at each other. But, I mean, I mean, it's not even, I think every year, actually, we went at each other. But, it, <laughs> but we always come right back together, you know, because it makes us both better. It makes us both have an edge to each other, chip on our shoulder, and we just keep going at each other. At the same time, I guess, it seems like one of the iconic images of the season so far is the two of you walking off arm in arm, I think, after the Purdue game. Just what has this journey been like for the two of you as guys that have started together for the last three years? It's, it's been a rough one. <laughs> since, my, well, since he had a winning season and then we came in my freshman year and it just all went downhill. And then last year, when I was a sophomore, he was a junior, it started to go uphill. And then now to see where we came at now, it's just, it's just a great feeling. How rewarding is it for you um, to have to kind of work through those two tough years to, to get to this now. I mean, is it have you grown a lot from from having to go through that? I mean, yeah, it shows. I mean, <laughs> I mean, we just won really big this year, and it shows. I mean, we learned so. I learned so much from those from those two years that the people that are still here now learn so much from it. What and we you, all grew from it. What do you think you learned about yourself the most? Um, I mean, really, I'm still learning about myself. You know, um, I still. I mean, I have—I say I have somewhat of uh, an identity, but I still haven't found that true identity of myself yet. Coaches talked about, and it seems like coaches talk about it this time of year all the time, sort of tailing back and, and not being as tough physically because guys are a little bit worn down. But has Coach Green done anything even more than what he did your first two years in terms of just kind of managing your body, managing the fatigue these last? 
few weeks? Nah, not really. It just all falls on us. We've all been getting extra for treatment. Our people are uh, feeling sore or whatever. We just go into uh, Tim Garl and we just go into him. After the game, uh, it seemed like uh, you, mo you more than anyone else uh, really enjoyed holding you're that. Shaking, bro. Sorry. You good? <laughs> <laughs> you more than anyone else uh, were really enjoying holding that trophy up. Um, does is it that the fact that you've been through so many peaks and valleys throughout your time here? I mean, yeah. Uh, everybody on the team has, has somewhat hit rock bottom, and then to come up now and see where, see how far it came, how far it brought us is just amazing. It's just an amazing feeling. True.